We're going to start this video with the car already safely in the air and the brake calipers removed. For additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Remove the two 18mm fasteners, green arrows, that secure the brake caliper bracket to the spindle. These bolts are going to be tight, so be prepared. Remove the caliper bracket from the spindle. Locate the 5mm Allen head screw, green arrow, used to secure the rotor to the axle flange. Remove the 5mm Allen head fastener. This will probably be very tight and corroded. Use penetrating oil and a hammer on a 5mm Allen bit and give it a couple of whacks. You can also use a hand impact tool and hammer and bolt to loosen it. Where, as always, wear eye protection to avoid getting metal chips in your eye. You may need to hold the rotor still to get the fastener off. Try putting two lug bolts in the axle of the wheel and put a long screwdriver between them. This should give you enough leverage to hold the rotor still. You may need to tap the rotor with a mallet to get it off. Tap on the inside pushing it out and rotate the rotor 180 degrees gradually working each side off. Clean the rust and corrosion around the mounting hub flange and lubricate it with some copper paste or anti-seize compound to make future service work easier. Installation is the reverse of removal. Moving to the rear. Remove the two fasteners, green arrows, that secure the rear brake caliper bracket from the rear spindle. Remove the brake caliper bracket from the rear assembly. Remove the 5mm Allen head fastener using the same procedures you did on the front rotors. If the rotor won't come off, make sure the parking brake is off. Line up one lug bolt hole in the rotor at the 6 o'clock position. Use a flathead screwdriver to reach inside and lever the parking brake adjustment gear. Put the screwdriver straight in at the top of the hole and lever upwards. Do this a few times to move the parking brake shoe inward. That doesn't work. Lever downwards. This will make the rotor easier to take off. Here's what you're trying to achieve with the rotor removed. You're trying to catch the groove in the parking brake adjustment pawl and rotate it downwards to allow the parking brake shoes to be pulled in by the return springs. With the parking brake shoes in, the rotor still may need a little tap from a mallet, rotating it 180 degrees to assist with its removal. Installation is the reverse of removal, and please see our article and video by following the link at the end of this video on adjusting your parking brake shoes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.